Purple people eater. Yes. All of that stuff. It's exactly 10 minutes after 8 with John and Steve with special in-studio guests. Three of them. Wow. One of them will not be speaking this morning. <laughs> well, she the, might be. <laughs> the, Ro the Roonies are in the house. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Get in there close, guys, because otherwise we won't be able to hear you. All right, you've got an event coming up, not this weekend, but next. Tell us about it. It's uh, obviously, it's Extra Life is the, yeah. is that kind of the, the, the main title? Extra Life is basically the, the charity organization that we do all of this through. It's basically a thing where people decide to play marathon gaming sessions and right. they support their local Children's Miracle Network hospitals. So it, Is this a provincial thing, a national thing? This or is, this is essentially international at this it point. There's a, the, the, the hospitals they support are only in North America, but they've got people from Australia, England, all over the place actually supporting them because there are international wings of hospitals like in Boston and Toronto. Right. Of course, when we do this, we're doing this for the Alberta Children's Hospital in Calgary, where right. our son Dominic got treated for leukemia for, right. you know, most of his life before he passed away two years ago. Uh -huh. So, you know, that's that that's our thing. And, you know, we're, 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 we're very lucky to have such a great community that supports us and all the stuff we do with it. So with Extra Life, essentially, you're going to be playing games for 24 hours straight. It's a marathon of games. It's actually 25 hours. Oh, it's 25. Yeah, because well, it's a uh, time change. Oh. Huh? So there's the 2 to 2 o'clock that doesn't exist that you still <laughs> technically have to play for. So, oh, well, there you go. <laughs> so yeah, we'll be uh, down at the uh, Beverage Landmark Events Building uh, downtown on 2nd, and uh, we'll have it open to the public from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. And during that time, uh, we're going to be playing board games, card games, video games, any kind of game you can think of. Um, we're also going to have a Pokemon Go walk. Um, at some point in time to that because it's downtown so yeah. hopefully the weather yeah. will be nice and we can get out and stretch our legs a little bit after sitting inside for a long portion of the day so are all the games there uh we will be bringing all of our games and all of the so other competitors will or uh, will they bring their own games absolutely oh, and you can bring yours if you want but they'll be open for everyone to play so okay. you don't have to bring any games you just have to come down say hi uh we have skinnies at 5 p.m skinnies yum yum house. yum all you need to say. I know. And it's ten bucks. Ten dollars, and it's going to be a buffet of skinnies. Who doesn't want to eat that, right? Yeah. yeah. And you're looking for a bit of a donation at the door as well. Ah, uh, yeah. We're asking for about a five dollar donation at the door. Um, it's, you know, like I said, every penny we raise goes directly to the Alberta Children's Hospital to help sick kids. So we don't pay any fees for like the we're not renting the space, or whatever. It's being donated to us. Skinnies is donating all the food to us and everything like that. So well, every penny we take in will be given to the hospital. Now you guys have done this how many years have you done this now? So the first year the first year that, that, that we did it, well that I did it I guess, was, was five years ago. Okay. I know you've done it for a while and it's got bigger and better every year. Yeah, like the first two years the first two years we did it, uh, it was just like a group of friends and we did like twelve hours at one house and twelve hours at another house and right. you know made it work and then you know, the the year that the Dominic passed, uh, we actually ended up getting into the Medicine at Lodge, and we did that two years ago, and then again last year. And now this year at the Beverage Built, you know, Beverage Landmark events in the mm -hmm. cellar downstairs there, and yeah, it just keeps it, it keeps evolving, right? And I think a lot of people sort of know about Dominic Strong now, yes. Um, and so that you know, we're, we're really grateful for that to be able to sort of you know keep his name going, mm -hmm. um, you know, with charity stuff and. Yeah, it's it's crazy that it's been five years since we've been doing it. But so you can come as a as a single or bring a team, right? Oh yeah, wanna, and just stay for an hour, stay all day. Stay for an hour. Yeah, I mean, and and if you want to do the whole twenty five hours with us, I would just ask that you just get in touch with me in advance because as as Trish mentioned, the doors aren't going to open until eleven to the general public. Right. But if you wanted to like game twenty five hours, and you know create an extra life page and try to raise money on your own with our team, we're happy to have you. Like totally, sure. bring it on. <laughs> now, I haven't done too much gaming in recent years, but I did a lot growing up, and sometimes it just seems like it goes by quickly a couple hours. So, is it an easy task to do 20, 24 hours? It's, well, Trish, Trish will speak to this, because she, she's, she's kind of like you. She, she doesn't, like, she, she'll, she can play a game for a couple hours, but to try to do a marathon, it, fat chat. Like, it's just not, Does it's it tough, work? right? It's easy until like one or two o'clock in the morning, and then you just sort of hit this wall between like two and probably about five a.m. Two and five a.m. And then you get difficult. recharged again. Yeah, and then you're like, oh, okay, there's only a couple hours left. We can do this. Let's go. You know, and then you kind of get that energy back. But that two to five, three hour window is pretty. Uh, 
Mm-hmm. And actually, I guess the four hour because it's the two to two, so it's a four <laughs> hour window. <laughs> waking up in the morning. Yeah, that's, we call that the magic hour. <laughs> we wake up then. That's crazy. How do people get involved? What's the best way? The easiest thing, honestly, to do is just search hashtag Dominic Strong on any social media. You'll mm-hmm. find us. Yeah. Um, but we do have a Facebook page event, right? So you can just sort of pop on there and say, hey, I'm going. Um, and we've got lots of details that I'm sharing on there every single day, you know, as far as what our actual hour-to-hour schedule is and all the kind of stuff we've got going on because there's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, so just find hashtag Dominic Strong. Uh, the website is DominicStrong.com. That's mm-hmm. where the blog has been uh, forever. And, yeah, we'd, we'd love to have lot, see a lot of people out um, and, you know, raise a lot of money for the hospital. Um, and also right now we actually have a uh, competition on or a, a draw on, basically. Um, so anyone that donates right now to anyone on the Dominic Strong team, mm-hmm. so you can go to extra-life.org slash team slash Dom Strong. And anyone that's listed on there, um, if you donate to their page, um, you just make a note in the comments that you want to be entered for Flames tickets. Oh. So we're giving away free Flames tickets that are really good tickets. They're about 200 bucks a piece. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, to the... Uh, November 30th. November 30th it's Coyotes Arizona. Yeah. Uh, game. Terrific. So all you got to do is give a $10 donation or more donation to anyone on our team and be entered for the draw. Great stuff. So well, a, a good cause, certainly, um, and we hope you get a, a lot of support. I think being in the beverage building, and mm-hmm. uh, which is a gorgeous new facility here, event center, um, and you're going to have a great dinner, obviously, from uh, yum, 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 yum. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, probably uh, an adult beverage if you choose as well. Right? Yes, the bar the bar will be open starting at five. Just Hello. F- <laughs> FYI, got our attention. <laughs> I just realized November fourth is my anniversary, so well, there you go. Uh, Dinner's my wife planned. Might be getting a skinnies. <laughs> Come on, honey, I'm taking you to the beverage building for our anniversary. Hey, Thanks. it's a classy building with skinnies. What more could you want, it right? Is. Thanks for coming in, and your daughter, Samantha, who's now eight months old, is an absolute dream. Oh, thank She's you. She's beautiful. She's been quiet today, so. <laughs> yes, because we put a soother in her mouth. Oh, <laughs> works every time. All right, thanks, and good luck next weekend. Thanks for having us. All right, thanks. Steve's back with the weather.